Hello everyone, this is my final honors project virtual keyboard update video which will um, showcase and demonstrate everything that I have done for new watchers for those who haven't seen the first video. I will also highlight the changes I've made in the application since the last version. It will demonstrate my notepad integration and it also has my video has a webcam in the bottom right hand corner of the screen so that you can see what happens in relation to when I move what happens in the application so let's get started as you can see we have um, the same virtual keyboard as before now this is set up in a QWERTY fashion um, in blocks of three by three but and, and this is three by three plus one because of p extends one over um, we have th all the letters shown in they have a border so they're easy to see um, the main functionality of of the keyboard is that when you highlight over a letter it goes down um, uh, under the space in in the sequence um, and as you can see the green progress bar spins around when you highlight over a letter it when it's full it changes the letter to green and then it puts down to the space uh, under the space um, we have up here we have circle speed this will change the speed of the circle <laughs> so this is a lot faster I'm just typing nonsense and then this is the slow, so that is a lot slower, you can see. So this is really for people who, who may have to think um, about where to go, so they're, you know, and, and they might just hover over this or just move very slowly, and we don't want them to accidentally select a letter or multiple letters. Um, we have down here, we have a space, of course, we have delete, so that is a singular delete. Therefore, in case people have to to think they might not accidentally go delete one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by the time they've realized what they have to, where they have to go next. Um, we can clear the screen. That will clear the um, the sentence. Um, down here we have case selection. <laughs> so that's lowercase, uppercase, numbers and symbols. This was moved from over here from the last version where I'm looking now my crosshair is um, and it's it's a nice tight group down here. Up here we have uh, three panels of colors. This changes the colors of the, the color of the keyboard including all the letters down at the bottom. As you notice that changes and then back to white again. So we'll clear that. Um, finally no, not finally. We have also have a grid back here, you see, around here. And this um, acts as a um, indicator that we are in a virtual room. Um, one of my earlier versions on had no grid room, and um, it felt like you were in a void, but in reality, um, we are not in a void. Because this application is based solely on visuals, um, your brain only understands where you are based on what you see. And in reality, we are all we always know where we are based on what we see. So if we're in a grid room, even though a grid room may not exist, we know that it's some sort of room and we get the feeling that we're in somewhere which is similar to reality and makes us feel a lot better. So, if we switch now, uh, there should be a um, white box at the top left hand corner of the screen. That is a notepad window. <laughs> I'm going to be typing and you should see in real time that um, it is um, putting information to the notepad in real time. Um, I am not doing that um, separately. This is one recording. So yeah, that is all happening real time through the application. I can delete and I can clear and now um, I will just show you um, simply by typing a sentence a 
Hello. My name. Is John exclamation mark? And you see, hello, my name is John, and that should be at the top right hand corner, a uh, top left hand corner, sorry, of the screen. Um, this application was created more towards uh, disabled can we, uh, disabled typing therefore the notepad integration enables a carer to um, copy whatever a disabled typer has typed for example an email or a note um, edit it um, with regards to spelling punctuation grammar and um, formatting and then paste it into an email or a note uh, somewhere and save it um, and it gives some a disabled user some sense of sense of achievement because they are able to do something which they have otherwise not been able to do before so thank you very much for um, watching this video this is my final video so I may not be posting about this again um, there are some possibilities with regards to the future of this um, which I will not talk about because it's um, private but if um, such things happen I may make a video um, demonstrating where this um, application may go in the future well, thank you very much for watching and uh, look after yourself and until next time if there is a next time see you later